Hey, what's up people? So I am not like a tech kind of person. I do YouTube videos. I have a show, a show that I do. But I wanted to take this whole thing live stream and you'll see live stream videos after this, depending on when you're watching this video, um, of me doing that. So you can assess whether or not this was done well or not. But basically I, I was looking all over YouTube and I was trying to find out how the hell do I live stream from a camcorder? I can't figure it out. And the camcorder I have is the Canon XA30, uh, but this, this video applies to basically any camcorder that has an HDMI input. Uh, the HDMI input that you need, it has to have a smaller HD input on one side, okay? And then the regular size HDMI on the other side. Yeah, so most of them come like this, where it's exactly the same on both sides. You don't want that. Make sure it has a small one. So I can't speak to whether every camcorder has the small end. I just assume that they do because the other end is gigantic. Some of the videos that I saw, they kind of show you a piece here and a piece there of how to do things. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. So you have your camcorder and you want to hook it up to YouTube to stream live. Here's how you do it. So what I would recommend you buy, this is the AJA Adra AJ, I don't know. Uh, UTAP with an SDI. Now there's two different ones. Okay, so see where it says right here, it says SDI? There's one that says HDMI. This is gonna be a lot simpler if you do it with the HDMI. The reason why I did the SDI is because if you plan at any point to have multiple cameras, then you're gonna wanna get the SDI because then you're gonna hook it up to a switcher and then the switcher connects to the SDI um, and then it'll just be a lot easier to do that. But if you don't plan on expanding your little YouTube operation at any point, get the HDMI and then it's gonna be super easy. You're just gonna plug your camera into the HDMI, HDMI into your computer, boom, bang, bam, done. That's it. But if you do plan to expand, this is the video that you should watch, okay? Okay, so now you have the AJA uh, SDI one. This is not gonna do you any good if you're trying to do an HDMI hookup because all it has right here is the USB. And this is what's gonna plug into your computer. So what you're gonna need to actually hook up the HDMI outlet from your camera to the computer is you're gonna need the black magic crap. So in order to actually hook up your camera through HD in order to eventually get to your computer is you're gonna need this. This is the HDMI to SDI, this is the Blackmagic Micro Converter. Okay, this is super important because I bought the SDI to HDMI thinking, oh, there's probably no difference. Mistake, has to say this, HDMI to SDI. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you basically the daisy chain that happens. Actually, before I do that, the last piece of equipment that you're gonna need, this is kind of an expensive cord. I would recommend getting it short if you don't need it to be long. But this is an SDI cord. It's the same on both ends and it has the whoop, it has the connections with like the single spoke in it and the links to every one of these products is going to be in the description if you want to just have a direct link to Amazon to buy it. Uh, Amazon normally has the best prices. I'm sure you could find it somewhere else but just for the sake of making sure that you get the right product the first time I do it this way because this probably took me a week of buying the wrong thing and sending it back and reordering and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so first you have your micro converter, HDMI to SDI, and you're gonna take the bigger end and you're gonna plug that in. The smaller end right here is what's going into your camera. There's another hole in this converter and that's the USB hole. This thing actually needs to be powered up and it comes with its own power cord. You could figure this out. Plug it into the wall. Okay, next, you have your SDI, they're both SDI out. Both of them say SDI out, there we go. And so either one works, you don't need to worry about that. So there you go. All right, then you have your other side and here's the AJA. So one of them says SDI in and the other one says SDI loop out. and you're gonna to wanna to plug it into the SDI in. Okay, so that's what we have so far. We have the Blackmagic converter, which is plugged into your camera and also into the wall. And then the SDI cord hooks up these two things. Okay, next, this is the UTAP. 
and this is going to plug into your computer. It comes with this cord. It's a USB, and then the USB part just plugs into your computer. Simple enough. There's no way you don't figure that out on your own. Hello? Okay, so now you have all your devices. They're plugged in. They're ready to go. And let's say that you want to use OBS. It's free to download. And what you're going to do is you're going to go right here to UTAP. Click that. And then you're going to select UTAP from here. I'm going to say OK. Now this is showing up color bars because I don't actually have the camera plugged in. But what happened to me the first time, and this is standard, it's going to happen to you too if you do exactly this setup, is it's going to have half the camera. Half the camera is going to be video, and then the bottom half is going to have these color bars. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the website. You're going to go to the website blackmagicdesign.com, hit support, and then broadcast and ATEM converters. And then you're going to download the latest update. This number might be different depending on when you do it, but it's black magic converters and then it'll be probably 7.3 point whatever. Hit whatever your operating system is and download it. Okay, this is going to open up to a zip file. And it's going to when you download the zip file, it's going to open up this right here. Looks exactly like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to double click and you're going to say install converters and then you know, it says 7.3, whatever that number is, depending on when you watch this. Okay, once it's actually downloaded, depending on where you put it, you can search it up if you need to, it'll be Black Magic Converters. And then you're gonna hit Black Magic Converter Setup. And it's gonna open up this. Now at this point, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take your Black Magic Converter and you're gonna actually have to plug it into a USB. So now you need to plug this in with a USB that doesn't come with the black magic converter. It does not come with it. That's very important that you know that. Luckily half the stuff we own has this standard charger. I believe it's the same as like a Samsung. So you should have one of these standard chargers on you somewhere. Okay, so now you've plugged in the black magic converter into your computer and then right away this pops up. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click this little disk looking thing. It looks like a floppy disk. Boom. And it'll be defaulted to level B normal. Level B normal. You're going to switch that to level A and press save. And then once you've done all that, you're good to go. Uh, you just go to youtube.com and you hit the live stream and then or use OBS and it'll, it'll hook up right to it. If you go to youtube.com and hit uh, webcam, it'll go straight to your camcorder. If you hit stream, then you're going to need to learn how to use OBS uh, and put in the stream key. That's uh, very easy to find out. Just find your stream key, put it into OBS, and then it'll open up right to it on there. And that's it guys. Uh, I wanted to save you the time that I wasted shipping things back and forth, returning a bunch of items. Uh, all the item descriptions, if you want to just buy them straight from this link in my description, all of the items that I'm using are right there. Bear in mind, some of them aren't that cheap. Um, but this, I, I've, seen, I've seen the quality. It's all super high quality on all these items. Uh, it works really well. And if you know a better way, just let me know in the, in the comments. If you know a better way to hook up specifically for me, the Canon XA30. Uh, but that's the camera that I already bought over a year ago. It's what I had and so I needed to make it work. Uh, and hopefully if you're in the same situation this helps. That's it. Check out my other stuff, Honest Bachelor, the HB half hour show. And then I do live streams nearly every day of the week. Thanks for watching.